All right, we're going to do some compositions of functions. So we have three functions, f of x equals 5x minus 1, g of x equals x squared plus 4x, and k of x equals 1 over x minus 3. So those are our three functions. So if I need to do f of g of negative 2, first we have to remember what that actually means. That means f of g of negative 2. So what I first need to do is figure out what g of negative 2 is. So I could say f of, and I'm going to write down what g of negative 2 is. Well, I have to look at the g function here. g of x equals x squared plus 4x, and replace the x with a negative 2. So I'm going to put the negative 2 in for x. So I have negative x squared plus 4 times a negative 2. See how I've replaced it? And now I'm going to simplify before I do the f function. So negative 2 squared means I have to do negative 2 times negative 2. That's a positive 4. And then I have plus 4 times negative 2. That's the same thing as minus 8. Not quite finished. 4 minus 8 is the same as 4 plus negative 8. That will be negative 4. So you simplify g of negative 2 all the way until you get negative 4. Now I'm going to plug negative 4 in the f function. So I'm going to replace the x in 5x minus 1 with a negative 4. So this will give me 5 times negative 4 minus 1. And we simplify that. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 minus 1 which is the same as negative 20 plus negative 1, and the answer is negative 21. All right, let's do g of f of negative 2. We're going to switch and do the other order. If I do g of f of negative 2, that means g of f of negative 2. So this time, I need to do f of negative 2 first. So I just write the g in parentheses, and I'm going to replace negative 2 in for x in the f function. So that will give me 5 times negative 2 minus 1. Remember, you have to look at the f function. And then we're going to simplify inside those parentheses. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 1. I'm sorry, negative 10 minus 1. And that would be g of Negative 10 minus 1 is negative 11. So now I have to do g of negative 11. So I'm going to look up at the g function, and I'm going to replace the x in the g function with negative 11. So that means I have a negative 11 squared plus 4 times negative 11, which is 121, because that's a negative 11 times a negative 11, positive, and 11 times 11 is 121. And I have plus 4 times negative 11, that's the same thing as minus 44, and then you do that arithmetic, which is 77. And so you see it makes a difference which function you do first. All right, let's do something with a k function. How about k of f? Of, let's say we're going to plug in 2 this time. So first of all, that means k of f of 2. So I have k parentheses, and now I have to go into the f function and put in a 2 for an x. So I have to look over here at the f of x equals 5x minus 1 and replace the x with a 2, so that would be 5 times 2 minus 1. which is k of 10 minus 1. You keep simplifying inside the parentheses, which is k of 9. Now we're ready to plug in 9 into the k function, which is 1 over x minus 3. So that will be 1 over, and I'm going to replace the x with a 9, 9 minus 3. So my answer is 1 sixth. You just leave it as 1 6. Leave it as a reduced fraction. If it would have been 2 6, then of course I would have reduced it. So there is k of f of 2. All right. Let's instead now do 
f of k of 2. Why don't you try that on your own? Maybe put the video on pause. So first of all, that means f of k of 2. So we need to do k of 2 first. All right, so we have to plug in 2 into the k function. And the k function is 1 over x minus 3. So I'm going to plug in 2 for x. So that's 1 over 2 minus 3. which is 1 over negative 1. And 1 divided by negative 1 is just negative 1. So I've computed k of 2. And now we're going to replace, we're going to do the f function replacing x with negative 1. So we have to go back to the f function, which is 5x minus 1. So we're going to do 5 times negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 5 minus 1 or negative 6. So there are four problems where we're doing um, composition of functions. All right, so in the previous examples we did composition of functions where we're replacing a number in, but now what about if we just have f of g of x? So remember that means f of g of x. Now there's no number to replace, we simply for g of x, we write what g of x is, which is x squared plus 4x. So that gives us f of x squared plus 4x. So this could be a little confusing, but now instead of having like a 5 or a 3 in the parentheses, I have an x squared plus 4x, so I have to replace x squared plus 4x into the x in the f function. So here's the x. In the f function, I'm going to replace that x with this x squared plus 4x. So I'm going to have 5 times x squared plus 4x. I'm replacing the x with x squared plus 4x. And now I simplify this. So I have to do the distributive property. 5x squared plus 20x minus 1. And those are all on like terms, so I can't simplify any further. That's what I get. So now let's do g of f of x. So this time, in the inner parentheses, I have f of x. So I have g of, now f of x is over up here. f of x is 5x minus 1. So that's what goes in the parentheses, because that's what f of x is. And we're going to repla replace the x in the g function. And there's two places you see an x, you see them? Both of those have to be, re be replaced with 5x minus 1. So we have 5x minus 1 squared plus 4 times 5x minus 1. Now I'm going to do my arithmetic, my algebra down here, 5x minus 1 squared means 5x times 5x minus 1 times 5x minus 1. You do the FOIL method, first outer inner last, 25x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 1, and combine like terms, you would get 25x squared minus 10x plus 1. I also have plus 4 times 5x minus 1, so we need to distribute the 4. That's 20x minus 4. And now I can combine like terms here. There's only one x squared term, 25x squared. But I have a negative 10x and a plus 20x. That means it's plus 10x. And then I have a 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. And there we go. That's g of f of x. All right, now let's do k of f of x. So I have to state what f of x is and put it in the parentheses. So k of, and what's f of x up here? It's 5x minus 1. So that's what goes in the parentheses. And now I'm going to replace, in the k function, I'm going to replace this x here with 5x minus 1. So I have 1 over, and in place of x, I'm going to put in this 
5x minus 1, but I also have that minus 3, right? So I just simplify the bottom, 1 over 5x minus 4, and you can't simplify that any further, and so there's our answer.